What's up, Kings fans? Come on in, guys. This is uh, Thomas Welsh. Uh, it's my turn here for a day in the life. Uh, I haven't been in Taiwan for very long, but I'm excited to show you guys a bit of my routine and, and what my day to day looks like. So, here we go. So, I usually start my day with a big breakfast. Uh, and one of my favorites, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, so this is, this is top secret stuff I'm showing you here, but uh, I love uh, overnight oats. My favorite breakfast, absolute go-to. We'll do this every morning. I'll show you guys the recipe tonight. It's just, it's very easy. It has lots of things that you need just nutritionally as an athlete. And it's very filling too, which I love. I would highly recommend trying it if you haven't already. It's a, it's a really good breakfast. So I'd like to introduce you guys uh, to someone too. I have a fiance actually back home in the States uh, named Megan. Fortunately, her evenings in California are my mornings here in Taiwan. So let's, let's give her a call. Hi, Meg. Hi, Sam. How's it going? Going good. Meg, you get you wake up crazy early to uh, to watch our games, right? You're just, you're such you're probably the biggest Kings fan in the world. I mean, usually, so when you play at five p.m., it is one a.m. for me. Um, I feel like that's when you're most calm in time. I do wake up and I do watch your games. I would say your two thirty start times in Taiwan are my favorite because yeah. it's ten. I think I would be like a zombie, like I'd be sleepwalking trying to watch that game at that hour. So it's impressive that she's able to do that. It does mean a lot to me too. You know, I don't really know basketball too well, but I know that like what he's doing, I personally love to watch. So. <laughs> I gotta say, I love looking at this every day too. This is like, this is the place where we had our first date. Uh, this really was an incredibly special day. She knew it was coming, we had talked about it, but I wanted it to be um, ideally a surprise when it happened. I didn't want her to know when it was coming. I'm just waiting for the okay to be able to come over. Well, I should probably go. I need to uh, get a little lunch together for uh, for practice here. But... I definitely miss you and love you and just proud of you and everything that you're doing. Thanks, so. man. I love you. I'll talk to you after practice. I love you too. Bye. Bye. So I'm watching this show called Survivor right now. It's basically a group of about, I think, 20 people that they put on this island. Um, and they go through challenges and they're split up into tribes. They vote one another out at these things called tribal councils. Before practice, I like to make myself a little lunch too when we practice later in the day, just making sure I got a good meal in, get some energy, get ready to go uh, get a good workout in. So I'll show you guys uh, a little lunch I like to make. I love Mexican food. I'm gonna make some beef fajitas, so here we go. Yeah, just some onions and red bell peppers up here. When I, uh, I find my own place, I definitely want to get the raised countertop or something just to make it a little easier for a guy my height. But yeah, it's, it's a little tougher to be <laughs> bending down, but it still works. It gets the job done. Got a little salsa here too. Key for the fajitas, totally a game changer. Trust me, it smells delicious. This is, it's a very easy dish to make. Um, and yeah, just a little reminder of home, I guess. So uh, definitely one of my favorites. I like bringing a protein shake uh, with me to practice just to have for afterwards. I don't have a sponsor, but I'm looking for one. So if anyone's looking to do business, I'm ready. Time to go to practice. Let's have a good day. So these are uh, like they call the Normatec boots. Uh, they just help with recovery, just uh, flushing out your legs and letting a new stream of blood come back into them. Uh, just helps with recovery. So these are uh, something I like to do before getting to practice just to help aid with uh, recovery. Film time. Uh, mainly just to give you guys some reminders of some of the things that we're looking at. Let's go through this first and then... <laughs> Do they know that you haven't been in practice the last two weeks? Two? No. You've been, you've been on the beach. <laughs> right? You yeah. had your birthday. You've right. been on the beach. Yeah. This is first day back. Let's go for the. <laughs> just trying to get the details here. Yeah. <laughs> 高智商、高球商，我觉得对于我们现在国王队帮助真的很大。他更在乎的是球队有没有赢球，然后再他有没有帮助本土球员进步。我觉得这是一个汤马斯对于整个洋将真的很难能可贵的地方。The three pointer is a very, very important shot in basketball, especially with the way basketball is heading. Everyone needs to be able to shoot it. I think nowadays, all five positions. So 
I'll definitely focus on that. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm bad. Thank you. You're welcome. Bang. 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 Uh, two Oh, good. Good. It's right. important stuff. Got to stay healthy during the season. Get stronger. This is big. Good day of hard work today. Welcome back to my apartment. I'll show you guys uh, how a post-practice day looks for you guys. So here we go. Jumped in the shower. Now just gonna uh, put together a little post-practice meal. I just got some leftovers uh, from my, I probably have like four meals in a day or like a breakfast, a meal before, a meal after practice and then dinner that night. But yeah, I think, you know, stats are just stats like at the end of the day, except for one. My dad did preach to me the importance. Of it's okay to be selfish when you're rebounding, you know, in terms of just getting as many offensive and defensive rebounds as you can, because, I mean, that's one statistic that objectively helps your team the more you can get. I definitely try to be selfish with my rebounds, uh, but everything else, I just try to let play in the, the framework of the team and, and kind of let, you know, the offense do what it does and take my shots when they come or hit my teammates when they're open. I just kind of play basketball. My dad was a, a, a very, very big mentor for me. Um, on the court and off the court, uh, but he always preached the importance of getting your rebounds and uh, yeah, so my dad was uh, probably my first and, and one of my best coaches without a doubt. Uh, my Kindle here makes it easy to read books and always have books with me on the road. Uh, just like to get some reading done after practice with the downtime just to make me feel like I'm being at least a little bit productive with the time I have between practices. Uh, and I'm just about to start reading two books uh, called Elite Minds, which is a psychology book, and another one called The House in the Cerulean Sea, which honestly I don't know what it's about, but I've heard it's a really good book. So if you're looking for a book to read, I definitely would recommend the Rich Dad Poor Dad book, just about financial literacy. I studied economics in college and it, it covers a lot of really, I think, useful tools for um, preparing your personal finances and uh, I guess being aware of, of expenses and things like that. We go shopping together periodically. Usually when we go, we'll make a big tip, big trip. We're just going for a little quick uh, pickup of some basics here. So we're gonna go get some shopping done. I like the label. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely a label shopper when it comes to uh, my wine. So this looks like a good label. We're gonna roll with it. No more pickles. Oh yeah, look, I got one. <laughs> we have a deal. <laughs> I just ordered some Uber Eats. Getting some dinner. I love this beef noodle spot. One of my favorite Taiwanese foods I've had out here so far, so just grabbing a little dinner. Everybody would love to hang out with him. We, we went to Canton, but we went on like a, we just want to play with the waves kind of vacation, not a surfing vacation. Hi, Luke! Hi, Luke! We're uh, just hanging out here in the common room playing uh, um, Super Smash Bros on the Nintendo Switch. Gaming is definitely not my thing, but it's fun just to hang out with the guys and do it. Just being humble is pretty good. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mario, Mario Kart, I'm pretty good. Mario Kart, I'm pretty good. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, let's go! <laughs> it's bedtime. That's what time it is. I appreciate you guys following uh, me along today. I uh, hope you learned something, get to see what my life is like. But before you go, I'll show you how I am making my overnight, oat, overnight oats recipe. So I'll show you how I do it. Of course you need the oats, chia seed, black seed, with protein powders, and the peanut butter too. I didn't mention it before, but this is the, one of the most vital ingredients in there as well. 
And then I prefer using like almond milk uh, to mix it in, but much more difficult to find out here. So I just use water. Yeah, I'd say I usually do about a half cup to two thirds of a cup of oats, three tablespoons of uh, chia seeds, like two tablespoons of flax seeds, a scoop of protein powder, and like a tablespoon of peanut butter. A little more water. This is uh, how I always try to finish my nights because it, set it sets me up for a great morning. So that's my overnight oats recipe and I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching today. I hope you guys try the overnight oats recipe and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, but thank you again for tuning in. I really do appreciate your guys' support and I hope to see you guys at our next home game.